Hi there everybody, I want to thank you for joining me, I want to wish you all a happy new year. So we've had quite a few different emails over the last few weeks in regards to Facebook ads. So in this video, really it's an opportunity to talk about Facebook ads and show you really how to set it up. So a Facebook ad is, is a brand message, it's an advertising or marketing campaign that's put out to attract people to either a product or a service. Um, in the case of Facebook it can be things like events, it could be things like apps and it could be things like promoting your Facebook business page. So these are really important. Now in principle it works the same as Google AdWords and Google AdWords is a pay per click service which quite literally means every time someone actually clicks on your advert or your campaign message uh, some money comes out of your budget. So let's say you've got a £400 budget for your first month and you want to give this a test spin to see how powerful it is. Well first of all you need to put in all your search or target audience criteria age, location, interest, keywords, all that sort of stuff and then what it's going to do is look at the competition and look at all the information you've put in and give you an estimated cost per click. So let's say in this case it's 50 pence per click that gives you what mm, 800 clicks um, every person that clicks on the ad 50 pence is minus from your overall budget of 400 pounds until it's simply gone and that's in principle how pay-per-click actually works now I want to quickly show you the two different types of Facebook ads because these are quite powerful so the first one is the general Facebook ad now these all depend on what keywords and what interest each individual person has so let's say I've got a Facebook um, profile and I've liked let's say this top one here combat zone fallout 3 loudwire world war 2 maybe I'm a fan of Leonard Cohen which I am um, what it will do is it will look at the keywords and it will put these messages in front of those people who are interested in these products or services already so this is how it works you can have a like on there so someone can see the message they can read what you have to say and they can like it straight away or then go to the actual page itself now that's a click. If you click on that, that's 50p coming out of my £400 budget, basically. So it's really important that you craft that quite carefully. Now, the next one is a sponsored story. Now, the sponsored story is a little bit different, quite similar, but a little bit different. And this is, it comes off the news feed, so it's, it's whatever is on the page or place or app. And it's something very specific. Now, this could be, let's say, a video that you're promoting. It could be an app that you're promoting. It could be something very specific that you want to promote, but you want to get exposure. So once you've decided on what type of ad you're going to run, you want to go up to the top right-hand corner and click Create an Ad. Now, it'll take you to the next page. And again, click Create an Ad. And here's where all the fun happens. So this is basically where you specify whether it's a page, application, or a place that you want to promote. So I'm going to go with the page. Then it's going to ask you for the type. I'm going to run with a Facebook ad this time. Then it's going to ask you about the story type. So what do you want to promote? Now if you just look below here, this is a post that's on this particular Facebook page. Now if I want to promote that post, I will leave it on this one. If not, I'll click Facebook ads for pages. And what it'll ask me to do is look for a particular tab or your default. Now I actually run the campaigns on the default. So when someone comes to the Facebook page, they're going to land already on that page with the promotion so that is really important to probably have that as a default below that is the name of the actual page that's the title that's what's going to come up here in the preview and then you're going to want to put in the body of the text so whatever campaign you, you, you're running you're going to want to put the text in there so this is what is going to attract people and draw them in next is the image and I'm going to go with an SEO image here and you can just see the preview just below here so we've got the name of the page, we've got the image, also you can like it straight away and click on it. And want to get your head around SEO this year, then try our new online course absolutely free. So that's the message that I want to put out and I'm going to place that message in front of a particular target audience.